Hey everyone, I am Nixie and welcome to March's Mango Hall. God, I forgot what month we're in already. March is absolutely like a flown by. I don't know if anyone else feels like that as well. Uh, but yeah, so we are going to go through everything uh, that I hold in the month of March. So we'll be starting with new releases, like always, going publisher by publisher. I will say for the next couple of months, like, I'm going to have more modest i guess uh manga hauls uh because past nixie was very irresponsible and uh, did quite a few pre-orders on figures so uh the manga budget is going to be smaller than what it normally is um so let's get into it the first one we are going to start with is seven seas now normally i have quite a lot of like seven seas uh releases but actually for this month like there's like very very few i've only got four titles here um, so the first one is a Black Knight Parade Volume 2. I really, really like this. Um, it's a very unique title in the fact that it is purely like a Christmas manga, um, which other than like, you know, the like event happening in mangas, you don't typically see like a pure uh, Christmas like manga release. And this one is super interesting. So this is... Um, in a world where um is basically revolving around uh the black santa like the santa that's clothed all in black rather than the red santa that we usually see um so the santa that's um covered in black he basically looks after the naughty children so his job is obviously to make sure that they get their coal intestines and all of that like disturbing stuff on Christmas. Uh, so this is about a guy who essentially takes on a job working for this Santa. Um, it's very, very interesting. There's like a bigger like plot to it uh, that's like slowly like unfolding. There's some very interesting characters that have some very interesting and not so innocent like backstories as well. But if you want something a little different, then I highly recommend this. Like I say, we don't tend to see like a, a Christmas based manga and this one is actually really interesting. It's the same creator as Saint Young Man as well. So if you pick that up, you'll probably like this as well anyway. Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend this. It's something a bit different. Next we have, I think I turned my childhood friend into a girl. This is a super cute, um, like little BL manga. It's really, really wholesome. And so this is about two childhood friends. Uh, one is really into like makeup and like hair and like dressing uh, people in like women's clothes, like putting outfits together and that sort of stuff. And because it's not like typically the sort of thing that um guys do he tries to keep it hidden which is like really sad that it's something that he's really passionate about um his best friend um lets him uh practice like makeup and stuff on him and finds that actually he really does like dressing up as a girl um he still identifies as a guy he just likes dressing up like in women's clothing and like having makeup on and all that sort of stuff it gives him like a confidence boost um but yeah this is super cute we kind of get into that point where like things are like happening and like things are progressing and it's like just it's really cute and awesome like i really like the way that these two are not only like becoming more comfortable within themselves and within their skin but like how they're like um like relationship is like developing with each other as well and how they're becoming a bit more like comfortable around each other and yeah things this is like the volume where like things are really gonna like start happening now and it's so cute then we have kimono jihan volume 10 so we are flying through these it feels like i am fully caught up on this uh now like a few volumes back i was like stressing a little bit because like i was really far behind but finally caught up we are to the um ogre meat factory uh that's all happening in this one uh we see that and of course they leave us on a little bit of a cliffhanger uh but yeah i'm really enjoying this series like if you like um i guess kind of like um not like yokai but like um abilities and stuff like i guess yokai type of uh like that sort of like vein loosely um then i think you'll enjoy this there's like a good amount of action like i really like the characters that are in it as well um but yeah we're at the ogre meat factory in this and yeah it's it's all 
kicking off like it's all it's all going on for so uh but yeah i really enjoyed this it's a super fun um like action series lots of like character development and growth as well in this okay so that's like that's it for seven seeds guys we only had three god i can't count i said four uh but yeah that's it for seven seeds that we have uh this month Next, we had a couple of releases from uh, Sublime that were early releases. So the first one we have is Candy Color Paradox Assorted Pack. So this is uh, like a bit of a spin-off from the Candy Color Paradox, which is a BL. And these guys are just like, they're like an old married bickering couple. Uh, but when they do have like these um, intimate sweet moments, like they're so cute together. But yeah, so this is basically like side stories, uh, like little bonus comic strips that we've seen like throughout the series because the series has been going on for like quite a few years now, like it's a slow release. Um, so yeah, all the like bonus strips that um, have been like little extras, um, little like side stories, that's basically all in this. Like there isn't anything that's like, like no stories are really long in this one. Uh, so it really is like bite sized. Uh, little stories about the couple and we do get some like color pages as well which is also like a very nice to see but yeah so if you like missing these guys then you've got something to tide you over until the next volume then we have a uh, very highly anticipated um volume we have pink heart jam volume two so this concludes this story now um we should hopefully be getting the sequel to this um i'm not sure when it's going to be released like it's not available for pre-order yet um but hopefully like by the end of the year we'll at least get like a pre-order up um but yeah i really enjoyed this this was a super fun um story so again this is a bl um so this is about a guy who goes to like music uni um is and basically falls for a guy that's like his upperclassman um so yeah who's like the introverted type who's like you know i'm not looking for love like blah 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 all that sort of thing i want to make a real connection like that type of vibe um so it's basically about those two and um the older guy he works in a brothel um and that's basically how they sort of like start to get to know each other um but yeah i highly recommend this like i say it's only two volumes so it's not like a big commitment um and hopefully we will see like this sequel series soon so that's it for Sublime. Next, we have one release from Yen Press. We have Subaki Chu Lily Planet Volume 6. I love this. I really, really love this series. So this is about a um, girl. It's like very typical. Um, parents aren't around. She was left in debt. Uh, she's struggling to obviously like make it through school and stuff. So she manages to get a job um, working for a novelist as like a living maid. Um, so yeah it's about those two and obviously like they're developing a relationship this is the volume like it left on a cliffhanger in volume five but like oh my god it's so so cute um but yeah i really enjoyed this as well this is a age gap but it doesn't feel like it's such a big age gap sort of thing but i know some people don't like that uh, but yeah i can't wait to see like where these two go and like how they continue to develop it is 14 volumes complete so we're almost halfway there uh but yeah if you like a good little cute shoujo like i highly recommend that is yeah it's been fantastic so far and then one release from ice press we have ice press did release um a few titles this month and going into next month um, but I haven't got them through yet, so that they have released a few. Um, but I got Not So Wicked Stepmom Volume 3. I love this. Like, how cute is that cover as well? Adorable. It's where this woman wakes up and she's in the villainess's um, body. Um, and everyone, like, hates her. Like, she's the queen. Everyone ha hates her, the stepmom, you know, that sort of thing. But the woman that has been that basically wakes up in her body um it's actually really nice uh she used to make uh kids clothes and that's basically all that she wants to do and then she's got this adorable little stepdaughter now and all she wants to do is like basically give her the world book because she's obviously in this like villainess's body um 
people are very very cautious around her obviously don't like her don't trust her even though she's being like genuinely nice now uh but yeah it's a really really good read i haven't caught up on this one yet um but i'm very excited too um but yeah it's super cute i really enjoyed this so far and ice press are like killing it with their releases like they are there's a lot of like ice press coming out um and they are doing things like really regularly as well which i actually like I know it's a lot to like try and buy if you are wanting to like either get all the titles or get like a lot of the titles um they do come out really regularly uh, so it can be like a lot but the titles that they are licensing are like really like amazing like there's not one that I haven't enjoyed and they've got like quite a good variety as well so I really enjoy like Ice Press's releases basically so that's it for Yen Press Ice Press. And then we are going to move on to um, Dark Horse. We had two releases randomly uh, from Dark Horse this month. And that was uh, volume four and five of Helsin. Um, which I wasn't expecting. Obviously, five was an early release. But we now have, you know, volume five is now out. Um, so I wasn't expecting this. So when I got the like, notification that it was on the way, I was like, well, I've just got four. Um, so if you are wanting the paper bikes, you know, just be patient. They are coming out really quickly. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's because like obviously we have the really nice big deluxe hardcovers. And um, this is the translation um, from that. So obviously they're just like formatting it to the paper bike. So, you know, they can come out with them like really quickly. So if you have been waiting for them like they are now being reprinted like they were out of print for like a very long time obviously this is the second edition like the updated uh like translation and everything like i say from the deluxe ones but if you were waiting for the paperbacks rather than the deluxe like you really don't have to wait that much longer like to get the series um so yeah you really don't need to be like overpaying and like paying above retail price to get these now unless obviously you wanted the first editions but if you just want them for like the paper bag, you really don't have to wait much longer. And then moving on to Square Enix, I've actually been getting a few more like Square Enix releases uh, recently and I've been enjoying them as well. Uh, the first one we have volume 6 of Tokyo Aliens. I really really like this one. I like the way that the story is going, the fact that the, um, like the main character isn't like some like overpowered like already can like use powers within like two minutes of the manga starting and everything like he's a bit of a like crybaby a bit of a softy and i actually like really like that um it's a bit of a twist like the powerful ones are those that are around him but yeah this is if in case you haven't guessed it is a alien manga uh so this is in a world where um aliens and humans sort of like kind of live together like aliens get like little visas and like little like passes to come and like visit earth all of that sort of stuff um and basically it's about a uh company that um, obviously keeps them in check basically the alien police are uh, keeping people in check uh, but there's a case going around that um, where they're trying to find an alien that like caused a lot of like havoc and destruction and then sort of like fell silent um, and the guy who at the like softy he is basically wanting to join this um, company so you can find out what happened to his dad because his dad worked at this company uh, very interesting like I say there's lots of like good action as well um, and there's like some sad little stories as well like some characters have a bit of like sad backgrounds and stuff but yeah I really really like this and then the other one from Square Enix we got, we got The Villainess's Guide to Not Falling in Love. Now, I don't tend to um, dip my toes into, like, Izakai's or Villainess's story because, like, the market is really oversaturated and I just, I don't know where to start, basically, because there's so many and it's, like, for me, I find it hard to know whether, obviously, like, a title's going to be like something that I'm personally going to really enjoy um so I have kind of like been dipping my toes in a little bit more uh picking up a few like newer titles and everything and this is one of the ones that um I picked up like recently and I actually really enjoyed it so much more than what I thought I was going to guys so this is um about uh it's the typical like uh izakai story of where 
Uh, this woman wakes up in the body of someone from like a game that she uh, played in her like real life uh, or previous life. Uh, so it's one of those, she wakes up in a game um, and she wakes up as the villainess. Um, so she knows how the story goes for the villainess and it's not a good one. So she is trying everything in her power to basically stay away from the um, like leads uh, love interests and trying not to get involved in them uh, trying to live like a quiet life basically and of course that doesn't go to plan uh, he is a chunky boy as well uh, so he's a decent sized weed uh, but yeah I actually really enjoyed this one and the artwork as well is like really pretty um, but yeah so I'm excited to get the next volume of this like like I say I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to and then we are going to move on to Yem uh, not Yen Press, Viz Media. Uh, so we have volume three of Blade of the Moon Princess. So this is the same creator as Spy Family and Tista. Um, I think this is only like five volumes or something. Like it's not a huge commitment. I will say I haven't started reading this yet. I've been trying to like um, catch up on some other series that I'm like really behind on. Um, so I haven't like read this yet. Um, but yeah, if you're waiting for the next volume, volume 3 is now out. Like I said, I didn't think it's a huge commitment, like 5 volumes or something like that. Then we have volume 37, a massive commitment of a series. Uh, we have 37 of uh, My Hero Academia. I love this series, honestly. Um, I'm kind of sad that it is like coming to its like climax very soon. Um, but yeah, so if you've been waiting for the next uh, volume of this, there's lots of action in it. It's all obviously like getting to that big fight. Um, well, we're in the midst of the big fight. Um, but yeah, so if you're waiting for the next volume, it is now out. And then we have a volume. This is an early, early release as well. We have volume six of Wolf Girl and Black Prince. I really like this series. Like both main characters are kind of like, they're a little bit like dicks basically <laughs> um they both have like some toxicity red flags all of that sort of stuff but yeah it's such a fun series though this is about uh, a girl who is trying to like fit in with her friends um who have like boyfriends um so she tries to fit in by saying that she has a boyfriend and that she does all this good stuff with a boyfriend blah 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 um but she doesn't so she takes a random picture of some guy, turns out that this guy actually goes to her school um, and he actually agrees to go along and play uh, the role of her boyfriend um, but she has to do basically everything that he says and he treats her like dirt. Um, but we are now getting to that stage where like feelings are like changing a little bit, we're starting to see like walls crumble a little bit, a few cracks are appearing. Um, but yeah, I still really enjoy this because it's not the like super holes and fluffy like shoujo that we like usually see. Um, it's a bit more rough around the edges. And then we have a super wholesome, super fluffy, kick your feet, make you giggle like a little girl series. We have volume 5 again, another early release of Like a Butterfly. This, if you want something super wholesome that is going to make you kick your feet and giggle like a little girl then this is the one for you this is super cute and we are finally seeing things happen between these two and it's just like you find yourself really really rooting for the guys like you really want them to like progress and develop that relationship together so this is about a girl who like everyone finds attractive um and so they kind of like bombarded her and to the point where she's practically a mew um and doesn't talk to people or anything she's got like two close friends and that's it um and like guys still like try and come on to her they make her feel really uncomfortable and everything um and then she meets this other guy who is also shy and can't really talk to girls and yeah it's about those two and it is such a beautiful story and it's yeah if you want something to like lift your spirits then this is definitely the one for you because like i say it's freaking adorable and then the last one from viz we have a twisted wonderland uh volume three i really like these covers as well with like the little like gold uh bits on it as well but yeah i read this last night actually um 
this was probably my favorite volume so far of this we get um things things kick off guys it's a bit of a disaster like the things that happen in this um like i've never like played the game or like anything else that's like to do with twisted wonderland like i've never been like um like got into it so this is like kind of my first experience with like the franchise um but yeah it's all kicking off with riddler the um house warden of hearts um area yeah it's all kicking off there's uh, a bit of action a lot of disaster uh, a lot of off with your heads um but yeah this is a really fun uh volume like i said i think this was my favorite like volume so far uh, we get a bit of backstory on riddle as well and we also meet a very interesting character as well that just pops in um says his bit and then disappears again um but yeah so i really enjoyed this one next we are moving on to tokyo pop uh because we got quite a few volumes that have been coming out from tokyo pop and i will say i have been loving all of them uh like no complaints from me uh for any of the releases so the first one we have is heat and beat and it's got a really long title i may be an omega but i'm going to be an idol um really long title so this is an Omegaverse, it's BL, uh, all of these from Tokyo Pop, the Love Love imprint, they're all BLs. Um, but yeah, this is an Omegaverse, so this is about an Omega who really wants to be like a part of an idol group. But obviously he's very conscious that he's an Omega, people look down on Omegas um, and they're sort of like seen as weak and like he like people like he thinks people would see that like he's an Omega and he can't really make it as an idol because uh, there'd be all of these like threats and yeah basically he's like not strong enough to to make it um so he manages to join this idol group only to find out that one of the other idols is actually an alpha um so it's about their story i really enjoyed it um if you want an omegaverse uh, then i would highly recommend that you go and pick this one up this is a good one uh, there is like a sequel spin-off uh, i'm not entirely sure like what it is um whether it is just a sequel of these or whether it is a spin-off um that's coming out in a few months as well uh but yeah i'm so happy like we are getting more omegaverse stories like i'm all for it we also will get like the um, the first that i can think of anyway like alpha female omega male um coming out from um steamship uh seven seas so i'm really excited to like pick that up in a few months uh but yeah again as always tokyo pop kills it with the warnings um on the back and age rating like super simple super easy to see um you know what's gonna be like the type of content you're gonna get in these and then the next one we have acid town volume four um so this is like a mafia yakuza story um it's really sad like backstories and where it's going but i feel like if you um if you enjoy twitter and birds never fly um i highly recommend this because this is kind of like the same level as that like i would put those like if you like this then read this uh type situation um yeah there's some sad backstory like it's a very like nitty gritty like gangster run world um i will say that there is some like um abuse that people might not like involving like minors and stuff like that so again just like read the warnings on the back as well or do a little bit of research but like i say if you liked twitter and birds never fly i know that's a really slow release like it's been going on for like years now and the the volumes come out extremely slowly so if you are missing something like that that's a bit like rough around the edges like nitty gritty uh then i highly recommend this because we are getting volumes like pretty regularly uh coming out and like i say it's a similar sort of like story um but yeah not for not for the people that want something light-hearted and then next we have my love will last until the end of time uh this is just a one shot so this is a um past life lovers meet again in the new life uh sort of situation uh but it's really sad the way that this starts off and like how the previous lives ended um so this is about a guy who um remembers his memories from his past life and knows that he had a love uh someone that he cared very very deeply for 
Um, so he's basically been spending like this new life trying to find that person. Um, when he finally finds this person, um, he realizes that they don't have their memories of the previous life. Uh, so it's about this. It was a really good, really good other uh, one shot. Um, I really enjoyed the characters and the way that this developed as well. Um, but yeah, and it was like nice to see that sort of like past life, um, new life sort of thing, uh, get printed like in a physical. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that as well. And then we have volume two of Mitsuka. Um, I really like this series. Like it's, it makes your heart hurt a little bit. So this is, um, about a host and a, a sex worker um who basically like live together the kind of like in a lion's blood relationship type situation um the host claims to be straight unless it comes to this guy um who is like being in love with the straight guy um so yeah it's basically about their relationship the way that the first volume ended like it hurt your heart like how it ended um but we sort of like see that not quite resolved but we see that like moving on a little bit from that um but yeah i really enjoy this series we've got volume three coming out i'm not sure whether that's the final volume um whether it's going to wrap up uh, three volumes or not and then we have rooming with my two lovers um this is just a one shot like this was fine it wasn't my favorite like release uh this month from Tokyo Pop, but it was still fine. It was a fun like little um quick read, uh just a one shot. So this is about a guy who basically breaks up uh with his boyfriend, tells him not to um not to contact him, blah blah blah, that sort of thing. And he has a crush on his hairdresser. His hairdresser um asks him to basically move in due to like uh living situations and stuff like that and well i'll let you guess who the other roommate is uh, so it's basically about those three um like you say not too much like depth to the story if i'm being completely honest um it is explicit um but yeah so if you want something that's like not too hard on the brain you don't have to think too hard about it we still want something fun uh explicit i guess not too much drama um then i recommend this one i really like this cover as well I like the colors really nice um but yeah so that's it from tokyo pop this month moving on to our last stack we have kadansha which actually we have a few releases from kadansha the first one we have um i haven't read this one yet but my love sick life as a 90s otaku volume 2 i really enjoyed the first one and i feel like a lot of people will like kind of like chuckle and relate a little bit to this so this is about a mom who uh, grew up in the 90s when like you know being into anime manga that sort of stuff was like um it wasn't the cool thing um yeah you were sort of like told that you was a bit of a loser if you liked those sort of things um now she has a daughter and her daughter is into like she's an otaku uh she loves anime she loves manga all that sort of stuff and it's seen as like really acceptable and like cool and fine and basically this is about the mum reminiscing about when she grew up and what it was like about her like what it was like for her um back then um so yeah i feel like the you know the ones of us that were born in the 90s would like relate to this quite a lot and like i say the first volume was lots of fun um so i'm excited to read the second volume as well see where it goes then we have number call this is a bl um so this is from the same creator as um my summer of you uh the summer you were there um same creator um, so this is about um, two guys who are like drawn to each other because of the number eight um, like names being basically um, like meaning eight as well uh, so they kind of like keep running into each other it's a really nice like little one shot like nice to read not too much like drama and trauma <laughs> um, but yeah really fun read I enjoyed this a lot um, there is a, like, you know, there's some ups and downs in it, but yeah, it's a very like a cute little one shot. So if you want something a little bit more like lighthearted, but like a bit of a struggle to get there to the happy ending sort of thing, then I recommend that one. 
then we have anyway i'm falling in love with you volume one so this is about uh childhood friends there's a group of four uh four or five uh friends uh one girl the rest are guys uh basically one of the guys is like madly in love with the girl um and he's trying to get his feelings across to her and she's like kind of not having any of it I enjoyed this one. I think I had higher expectations of it, like thinking, like from the description and everything, thinking it would be a lot more like wholesome and like a lot cuter than like what it is. But I still enjoyed it. It was still a good read. Um, I still want to see where this goes and how like the other uh, friends are gonna like react and everything when they sort of like find out about his feelings. But yeah, I think that I had the expectations that it would like um, make your heart skip a beat a little bit like a few titles that we've been getting recently do. Um, it didn't quite do that for me but like I say it was still a good read. I still enjoyed it so like don't misunderstand that I didn't enjoy it. Then we have uh, the King A Kingdom of Quartz of Volume 1. Um, so this is in a world where basically humanity like doesn't exist but like um like celestials I guess um do so people with like wings and everything and there's like this citadel where it is protected by these angels and archangels um and basically this is about a girl called Blue who um she wants to be an angel she wants to help people um and yeah, she wants to be up in the citadel, like, protecting the king and everything. The other problem is that she was born with, like, pigmented wings. So rather than having white wings, uh, she was born with uh, black wings. Um, and they're quite small as well. So she often gets, like, ridicule ridiculed um, for that. And obviously, like, outcast for that. And often gets called, like, a demon and everything. Which is really sad, actually. I really like the artwork in this. It's very nice. Um, and there's like a little bit of a like twist that happens as well um, but it goes from like 0 to 100 like really quick um, and like things start happening like really quick but yeah lots of like good like action that happens in this as well it's very like heavily around like um, angels um, that sort of thing and about like the goddess uh, praying to the goddess um, but yeah, I really really did enjoy this one. It was a fun read. Okay, and then the last one we have is Ado, uh, volume one. I believe it is pronounced Ado, not Ado, uh, due to the character's name. Um, but yeah, there's been definitely like a big trend recently that like I'm sure a lot of people have noticed about this whole like um, human plant hybrid type situation. Um, like we've had this released, we have Fool's Night, uh, we've got Wild Strawberry, which is really great series on, um, the Shonen app. Um, and there's another one as well, Dear Anime, um, as well, that's like this sort of, yeah, this like trend of like seeing these like hybrid, um, like people that are like merged with plants and stuff and this is another like uh release in that sort of vein but like we have it physical um i loved this this was a strong like solid first volume um so this is about a lady she's just going about a business and she sees this child um almost get like run over so she like manages to shove him out the way and she keeps like running into him so she kind of like um tries to help him like he's clearly not with any like guardians parents or you know an adult um so yeah she kind of ends up like looking after him a little bit like takes him out for food and then next thing she knows she is surrounded by snipers in the squad team in this restaurant um so this is another one where it, like it ramps up very quickly it goes from zero to 100 um but yeah so this guy has these like special powers as we can see like on the cover and stuff but yeah this is a solid first volume like lots of like i say action very intriguing story um like and i want to know like obviously like how um these people came to be like what happened to them that like made them have like these um like plant abilities i guess um 
but yeah very solid volume like i say massive trend recently hybrid plant people um and i'm living for it to be honest like i say i've really enjoyed like the ones i have read looking forward to fool's night coming out as well um because like i say i've been enjoying this trend it's something a little different like it's not just like yokai or kaiju or you know just like having um superhero abilities or something it's it seems to be like the next trend that's happening at the minute in sort of like action series um but yeah so that's everything that i picked up as regards to new releases so we're gonna move on to the things i hold uh we've got a few things to get through with that uh so let's move on to that okay so we have a pretty huge one to start with literally berserk finally guys i picked up the first volume of berserk i very much enjoyed this like i don't think we need much introduction on this but i've been wanting to collect uh the berserk series for quite a while now and i wanted to do the deluxe deluxe hardcovers uh like the aim of the game is i'm hoping to collect all of dark horses hardcovers because they're so beautiful um but yeah i finally finally got around to picking up the first volume of berserk like i say very very much enjoyed it obviously like it's a huge series lots of people are like into it i totally see the hype i enjoyed um what i've seen of the anime as well um but yeah finally happy to actually start collecting it next we have um from viz we have volumes five six and seven of the descendants of darkness uh since crunchyroll has taken over right stuff anime website like is the website is terrible like i used to use that to see like um if something was out of print or just out of stock because it would say on the right stuff anime uh website but since crunchyroll is taking it over like it doesn't it just says like notify me when it's back in stock and you just don't know whether like it is actually going to be back in stock or not um so i'm not entirely sure like i know volume one and two is out of print of this thankfully like for me anyway like i already have those um but like 10 and 11 i know have been out of stock for quite a while so now i'm like panicking a little bit in case they are out of print um because obviously that's gonna make it more difficult to get um so fingers crossed they're not um next we have some reprints of sublime's titles if you have been waiting for these we finally have a few that have come back into stock honey darling finally back thank god um we also have a volume one of starting with the case is also back in stock so i went ahead and also picked up two and three um so that's that series complete as well um it's just like a three volume we also have embracing love three and four in stock one and two is uh still out of stock so like i can't even read this series yet uh because like i say it's out of stock at the minute and then we finally had the reprint of bond of dreams bond of love volume one again they like kind of do it backwards for like the reprints uh but yeah so this finally all volumes have been back in stock again i'm so excited we need there's still quite a few left of uh sublime's um releases that we need like reprinted and mainly like a nights as well because that's been out of stock for like the longest time and then finally the last stack in this video we are getting on to the out of print stuff that i hold which is like, the bl stuff um which i do every single month and we have finally i finally managed to get rabbit man tiger man volume one so volume two is quite easy to get a hold of volume one can be really expensive and like i don't want to pay like a ridiculous amount of like money for um like volumes and stuff um so i managed to find this for a good price finally um so i'm happy that i have both now uh and then we have sense and sexuality uh which is just a one shot from kitty media we have i want to be naughty which is kind of like a little bit harder to find definitely um uh, idol prizes idle pleasures from dupress um last portrait from drama queen i have to say i don't like how drama queen printed their stuff um like the dust covers like get bent like really easily they get like out of shape really easily and everything um but yeah at least this is like a really good copy thankfully um all nippon airline a n a l um this is just a one shot i loved 
um, when June and DMP did the um, matte just covers like they feel so much nicer than the glossy ones uh, we have La Vie en Rose as well which is another uh, one shot again with that matte cover which we like uh, Where Has Love Gone another one shot um, which I've been like trying to find for a little while and then we have this series that I'm not gonna like even try and butcher uh, but it's a three series it's this one it's this one <laughs> however you pronounce that um so i managed to get all three volumes which is nice i really love the colors on this one um but yeah finally managed to get all of these that was like on my hit list as well for a little while to try and get um but yeah so happy like i've managed to tick off a few of the like out of print stuff off my list and that is it guys i have done rambling for this video uh like i say in the next couple of videos it's probably going to be like this this kind of size um holes uh maybe a little bit smaller uh because like i say past nixie did not do future nixie uh a solid um with like some pre-orders that i've got coming up so uh manga budget is a little bit uh tighter um but like if obviously i do get well uh when i do get like these figures and stuff like i might even do those in the manga videos as well uh unless people are like really against that uh but there's some exciting things that are going to be coming out which i'm very excited for uh but yeah i'm gonna leave it this one here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like subscribe do all that good stuff i do the manga haul videos once a month last day of the month or like second to last day of the month depending on like all the scheduling on the channel uh, but yeah, I should see you in the next one. Bye everyone!